And one thing that I know you've done, or most of you ladies have done over these two years, is consistent. And your consistency is black women improving, black community improving. But it seems like today, all the consistency were thrown out of the window because of one girl. And, it, uh, and that caused character into question. Because the reason why I said this, because I, I, I thank you so much for reading my comment. And my comment was that uh, no matter who you are, when you're out of your house, if a man corrects you outside, be happy. <laughs> Especially in today, America, a lot of women are in danger because they don't want to be corrected. And no man want to correct them. And they end up in danger. Some of them don't make it back home to their family, right? We see it on the news every day. When a man corrects you, be happy about it. That girl needed to be corrected. She's a very young woman. I don't know her age. But she has a lot of things in life. Maybe she's enjoying the protection of her father or siblings or her community. Or probably Hink, her cousin or maybe her friend. But there will come a time in life she might step outside that comfort zone and she will need a man's protection. And with that kind of mouth, she's not getting it. This is how a lot of American women get in trouble when they travel overseas. They open their mouth and they get in trouble. You need to correct any woman that come, you come across as a woman. The reason why is because you guys have been on, uh, she's not even an exception because you guys have been on this panel for a long time together. You've discussed, you've talked about personal issues. Now she's your friend because she knows some personal things that you've discussed with her. She's your friend and she warrants correction when there is a need for it. You can't say because if she says she doesn't need correction, I can't correct her. She is being manipulative. The reason why she's manipulative is because if women are not saying anything, she will not respect the man that is correcting her. But if you as a woman and Ali as a woman step in and say, no, you need to listen to this man. They are correcting you. You need to listen to them. I'm being corrected by men and, I, and you got to pay attention. Guess what? As long as she doesn't have that cushion, right, to fall onto, she will take that correction or she will just get out. You guys have to make life uncomfortable for her. You, we are all parents. When we make life comfortable for our kids, or we are also siblings, right? When we make life comfortable for our siblings, guess what? They become entitled, right? But to correct them and make them understand that there is consequences for their action, guess what we do? We don't protect them. We don't give them that cushion to fall to. So that's what you guys should do as women. Because I'm sick and tired of how the women code is so deep. It's so deep and is detrimental, it's killing every generation. It's killing every generation, especially when you are 5, 10, 15 years younger than, older than that girl. You need to correct her. Correction comes with age and respect. If you don't correct her as an older lady, older than her, I'm not saying that you're old, but older than her, right? If you can correct her, in I a public no if you if you ladies can't correct no you're a young lady if you guys can't correct her right she will keep going down this slippery slope she will keep going down it she cannot continue like this because i watched her many times on this sunday show and I got to tell you, I have never seen any disrespectful woman like her, except the other light-skinned one that used to come on touch, that, that yells nonstop. She's a young woman. She has a bright future. But if she thinks she's going to be like this, why don't she, she gets in her 40s? It's going to rock her life. So please, ladies, please correct somebody. You guys cannot let this go. Can I just say one thing? Sometimes the correction doesn't need to come from a person. Sometimes the correction is the consequence of the behavior. So when people are moving in a certain way, like in this situation here, and I'm only using this as an example because of what just happened. There's nothing that Ali could have said, Shan could have said, I could have said that would have that would have changed 
her response because her issue was with Kenny. Her and Kenny was going back and forth. Regardless of what any of us had have said, I'm trying to tell you as a woman, because when we were talking about growth, there were times when a woman gets in her emotion, it ain't nothing that nobody can say in that moment. And so what I'm saying is in that situation, sometimes people learn best where they say experience is a good teacher. So is a consequence. And whatever that consequence may be, like you said, she might be out on the street. Somebody might be in a situation um, that recognizes her. That's a male. She need help. And that male like F her. She got a mouth. She she can handle that herself. I don't know what that that correction would look like for her. But from a me being mature <laughs> and having experience. I, I have learned that there are times you just need to learn to win to keep your mouth shut. That was one of those times that I'm keeping my mouth shut because it would not have made a I know in your mind, y'all might think it would have made a difference. I'm trying to tell you as a woman, that would not have me saying anything or any other woman on the panel saying anything would not have made a difference. Can I, it, it, if that's the understanding, if that's the understanding, right? If the philosophy is, I shouldn't have taken this time to correct this person who's going off on this other person because it wasn't my place. So then the singular um, uh, voice that we hear from Black women and single mothers is, where is the father to assert his authority over these unruly children and and do what they say to you to make my life easier and and to offer correction right that's what correction is it's, it's not one thing it's everything you take correction from your teacher you take correction from your mentor you take correction from uh uh your your boss at your job you take correction all the time right but we're talking about um um we're talking about public society and who you trust right um if if you're in a car and a cop tells you, you know, hey, this light is not working, you have to trust the, talk, the, the cop to give you a corrective action. Hey, you don't go even though the light says it's green. You go when I tell you to go. We take correction all the time every day. The issue that I, that I see in this exchange is the fact that information just won't be received even though it's coming because the author is, is despised, right? The, the, the message is coming across as, I don't like you. I don't like the way that you behave towards another black man when you said this thing, and I felt some sort of way. And this is what I'm saying about it. Um, and this is me taking like leadership role upon myself to to say this thing, so that maybe you can take this into account next next time you address either black men or or Hank or 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 about this issue. We're bringing up something that happened in the past that to which he was a witness of. He's bringing it up as a topic to say, hey, I'm addressing this. And, and there is times when Cookie would say, well, y'all supposed to be the leaders, y'all supposed, well, leaders give correction, right? That's, that's what leadership is about. It's offering correction to those who follow you, right? So if we're doing exactly what women in one singular voice uh, are telling us that we should do as men, which is offer leadership, that comes with correction. That means that we say something and address something and call it out for what it is to say, hey, the reason why men hold each other accountable is because we have to. Our lives depend on it. If I run into Hank or Ikene or Kenny, you, they don't have to guess whether there's an excuse me. There will be an excuse me because there's there they know as much as I do that that simple interaction, if it's disrespectful in even the slightest, it can come to blows, right? So but we he, handle each other. Wait, 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 wait. So okay. respect is paramount. It is paramount and it is important because amongst men, it can get you killed. It is life or death. And it is the same for women. And that is what Kenny is trying to express. When you you have protection from Hank, he said. You have protection from whoever she's dealing with, he said. But out in the public world, when you want to run your mouth to anybody in the public space, you that protection will not be there for you. The one who starts the fight and escalates is always going to be the loser in some sort of way because nobody's coming to save you. It's and always that, the that victim exactly who's protected, never point. the aggressor. Y'all look, that was exactly my point. There was no correction that was going to happen. And one of the things that I think uh, maybe you didn't miss it is that she specifically stated, 
I won't take for correction from somebody that I don't know. In those examples that you gave, her, her, her boss, her father, her brother, all of those are relationships that she has. So she's taken the correction. She made it clear to Kenny, I don't know you. I don't respect you. You cannot correct me. There's no, I'm in the same situation as Kenny. She don't know me. Uh, she doesn't have respect for me. I mean, we don't have a relationship for her to build that respect for me to be in a position to give correction. But you know who is in the situation? And she made that clear? Hink. She made it clear that Hink is the only person that could correct her. Mm -hmm. No, so no, I understand, me, I understand her it would, be, yeah. it would just be really, so I'm reading the message. Mm -hmm. right. I got the message. Right. And so in that regard, when you as men keep saying, no, you still need to give your opinion anyway. Let her know that she's wrong. So she is using she's using Hink's name as an escape route. Listen, I don't care if it's manipulative. I don't care if that's just her way of getting uh getting away from being corrected, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In that moment, there was no correction taking place. So, but by Hank. So right. re it, there was no need for me to say anything.